Hey everyone, this is Victor for Phone Arena and today we're taking a look at Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. The update has finally started arriving on Galaxy Nexus devices in the last couple of days and after we spent just enough time to get used to the update, we can now say that we're left very impressed with what Google has done to Android. Here's why. Jelly Bean is not the most prolific update Android has seen, but it patches just the right places and takes the experience up a notch. First comes Project Butter. Google has now finally admitted Android is often laggy and came up with a radical approach to fix that. Things have been improving slowly with Honeycomb and then ICS with full hardware acceleration, but Jelly Bean is really stepping speed up a notch. Project Butter makes the built-in app stick and open extremely snappily. We've been using the Galaxy Nexus as our daily driver for quite a while and after the update we were shocked at the increase in speed and smoothness. The biggest new feature in Jelly Bean though is Google Now, which is basically an intelligent system that uses your search history, calendar and location data to learn more about you and your lifestyle. It knows where you live, work, eat, sleep. It might sound creepy, but in exchange you get information relevant to the place without even asking, in the form of cards. Leaving home for work, a card would pop up with driving directions. Your favorite team played yesterday. The phone will automatically give you a card with the score and highlights. Next comes Google Voice Search. We loved Siri for being the first intelligent voice assistant, but Google Voice Search blows Siri out of the water easily. The voice platform on Android is dramatically faster and more accurate, saving you tons of frustration and time. It uses Google's knowledge graph, works in 21 different languages and speaks back to you in a shockingly natural, soft voice. Apple stock. Is currently trading at 607. How tall is LeBron James? LeBron James is 6 feet 8 inches tall. Pictures of the Empire State Building. And there's a bunch of other tiny touches to the system in Jelly Bean. Our favorite one is that now gestures are baked in deeper into the system. In the gallery you zoom out and flick images to delete them, which is extremely useful for all of us taking 10 shots of everything, just in case. Then in the notifications drop down you can preview emails by pinching in and in Chrome you just slide from the side to switch tabs. The keyboard in Jelly Bean is also improved with better dictionaries and predictions, but what we love most is the separate icon Google has introduced to switch between languages. Widgets are now resizable and other icons wrap around them, but otherwise the interface has remained largely the same in Jelly Bean. Overall, we felt that Project Butter was a good enough reason alone for you to update to Android Jelly Bean, but with Google Voice Search answering very quickly and accurately and a few little touches like the gestures, there is more to Jelly Bean than just the improved performance. Only Google now feels a bit experimental, but in urban areas you'd also find it useful. So bottom line is you definitely should update to Jelly Bean. The real question is when. Hopefully this one will roll out faster than ice cream sandwich. Thank you guys for watching and you can check out our full review of Android Jelly Bean on our website at phonearena.com. Thanks.